All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 63. All right. So remember that return ends the execution of a function, and it sure does. Uh, after our if block, we need to handle the logic for when the input is valid. Because our if statement returns a value, we do not need an else statement. Okay. What? After, after our if block, we need to handle the logic for when the input is valid because our if statement returns a value. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, since there's a there, since there's a return in this if right here, we don't need the else. We don't need to say do this else, do that because else the else is already implied that don't do anything. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's get back to it. So we're going to use the addition assignment operator to add, pardon me, curval to our calories total. We'll, pardon me, we'll need to use the number constructor to convert curval to a number, right? And this is an important thing here too. Uh, the number constructor is a function that converts a value to a number. If the num, pardon me, if the value cannot be converted, then it returns nan, which stands for not a number. Like if you put like, you know, just words in it, it's it's going to say nan, right? Uh, so here, here's, pardon me, here's an example. We have the number constructor, we have the string 10 in there, and it returns the number 10. If it was the string with the word T-E-N in it, it would say nan, all right? So let's go check this out for just a little bit over here at the, at the uh, pardon me, MDM web docs. So yeah, number constructor JavaScript in the Google bar right here. And then we come down here and the number constructor creates number objects. When called as a function, it returns primitive values of num pardon me, of type number, right? Uh, so yeah, this is it. We just put number here and value inside as the argument. But if we're doing a new number, we do it like this, new number value like that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you wanna go deeper into it, I mean, it's not too much of a read, all right? So let's come back over here and do that. So what we're doing is we're going to use the addition assignment operator to add curval to our calories total. So we're going to get this, copy that, drop it off, not there, drop it off here. And then we're going to say plus equals and we're going to put curval in it, curval, all right? But we need this to be a number. So we're going to wrap that in parentheses and we're going to say number in front of it like that. And that will take care of business. Let's uh, press the end key and put a semicolon on the end of it. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 64. And we'll see you next time.